On Tuesday, you will have an opportunity to help set the direction for America with your vote. Here are some people who know Frank Church. I'm a Republican who would like to see Frank Church in the White House. I've known Frank Church for 28 years, ever since we were classmates at Stanford Law School. And I know his wife, Bethine, too. Phyllis, you've been involved in social service work in the Portland area for a long time. Where does Frank Church stand in that? I think Frank Church has always had a concern for people ever since I've known him. My work in the social work field uh, involves my having to be aware of a great many community needs. And one of the needs that I think Frank has addressed himself to with real compassion are the needs of the aging in our society. He was chairman of the Senate Committee on Aging, wasn't he? That's correct. Frank and Bethine Church are both people of honesty, integrity, and compassion. And I think Frank has shown great commitment to his country. Franklin, as Democratic committeeman for Oregon and as uh, a leader of the Humphrey Movement in Oregon, why are you supporting Frank Church in next Tuesday's primary? Uh, Cliff, I've had a occasion to take a good close look at this election, and I realize that on Tuesday, the realistic choice before Oregon Democrats is between United States Senator Frank Church and Jimmy Carter. Uh, Oregonians have a record of being sophisticated about their voting, and I would have thought that the best course of action for Humphrey Democrats, such as myself, uh, and uh, pro-Kennedy Democrats, and frankly supporters of the other inactive candidates, uh, would be to vote for uh, Senator Frank Church. And the logic uh, in that is found in the fact that both Senators Humphrey and Church are in the mainstream of the progressive uh, elements of the party, and uh, Jimmy Carter is not. Uh, I don't want, and I hope that or Oregon Democrats will not waste their vote. Uh, consequently, between now and Tuesday, I'm urging my uh, fellow Humphrey supporters to vote for Frank Church. I've known Frank Church for many years. In fact, I used to buy fishing tackle from his father when he ran the old Boise sporting goods back in the 30s. And I'd like to see Frank Church president. Ted, as one of the leading conservationists in the United States, you won two national awards last year. You're an associate editor of Field and Stream. Where does Frank Church stand on conservation? Right at the very top, in my opinion. We've, I've worked with him on many issues, and he's never let us down. Has he ever done anything for Oregon? Yes, he has. In fact, I think he's the only active candidate who has done something for Oregon. He and our other Idaho senator and your two Oregon senators uh, wrote and got past the Hells Canyon National Recreation Area, which will protect the last free-flowing stretch of the Snake River. And in addition, Frank Church wrote the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act of 1968, and the Rogue River was included among the original wild rivers, as it well deserved to be. Uh, and I'm sure anybody who's floated it from Grants Pass to Gold Beach, as I have, would agree. What's your observation of Frank Church, the man? I respect him. I respect his honor and integrity and courage. Senator Frank Church's um, uh, is issues that he's addressed uh, throughout uh, his campaign uh, speak to as many of the things that uh, interest me very strongly. He has a, a broad range of interests and, uh, and I have found myself being able to, to listen to him and to uh, uh, become attracted to his positions very easily. Jim, as an Oregon legislator, how would it be working with Frank Church in the White House? I'd look forward to it. I think it would be very easy. He's an easy man to talk to. He's an uh, easy man to communicate with. And uh, I, I think it would be an excellent uh, situation having Frank Church in the White House. As a longshoreman, how would you and your co-workers relate to Frank Church? Well, it's, it's also easy for, I think, uh, working people to relate to Frank Church. He's uh, supported working people through his 20 years in uh, Congress. Uh, so it's, it's a very easy thing for working people to relate to him. Well, with Frank Church, of all the active candidates, He's one that you know where he stands on issues, and he has a 20-year record in the Senate that uh, is a track record, so you know where he stands, and it backs up what he's saying today. Uh, education doesn't have any better friend in the Senate than Frank Church. Make your choice on Tuesday. Go to church. <laughs>